Welcome to my Football 101 video series for the Painted Lines. In this series, we're going to be breaking down football concepts, going in depth to help you understand the game, understand what you're watching on Sundays just a little bit better. And so today we're going to start off really basically, and we're going to talk about defensive coverage shells. Now, first of all, there are two basic types of coverage that a defense can play. There's man coverage and there's zone coverage. And so man coverage is just what it sounds like. Each player is responsible for one player on the offense, no matter where they go on the field. And typically there'll be some sort of safety help over the top. Zone coverage can be as simple or as complex as you want. The most basic zone coverages are spot drop zones where each player just mans a certain area of the field and anyone that comes through it. And then there's very complex match coverages that convert to man coverage based on certain rules that we'll get into in a later video. But really simply, for this first video, there's three types of man coverage. There's cover zero, cover one, and cover two. There's three types of zone coverage, cover two, cover three, and cover four. And we'll get into videos on each of those as we go through. But the first thing we have to start with is defensive coverage shells. This is how the defense presents itself before the snap. Now, pre-snap looks give an important clue about the defense. It, the quarterback is looking at the safeties to try to determine if the play that they're going to call is going to work. And so you'll see quarterbacks all the time changing the play at the line of scrimmage, and it's based on these pre-snap looks of the safeties. Now, why the safeties? Well, there's a coaching adage that says cornerbacks can lie, but safeties tell the truth. It's really hard for safeties to disguise what they're doing, although it is possible. And so there's three basic coverage shells that we're going to talk about today. The first is a middle of field closed coverage shell. It's also called single high coverage. And you can see on this photo that there is a safety in the middle of the field. He's at the 45 yard line, just at the end edge of the Panthers logo. He is closing the middle of the field. Now, why is this coverage good? Well, one of the reasons this shell is good is because it is plus one in the box. And so you can see this area that I've highlighted out. The, the Eagles defense has seven guys in the box and the Panthers only have six blockers. And so there's one more player in the defense in the run fits than there is blockers. And so in theory, this should be good against the run because it will allow one player to be free to go make the tackle. Now, the negatives is that it's weak against the pass, particularly in the seams. And so the saying goes single high, let it fly. If you're a quarterback and you see a single high safety, a lot of times you will check out of a running play into a passing play and try to attack downfield. So what coverages can be run out of this? Well, there's two main coverages. The first would be cover one man. And so you see a potential what this could look like diagrammed here. Each player, each potential receiver is covered by someone. And then there is a linebacker in a hook zone over the middle of the field, or he could blitz either way. And then there's one safety deep to help protect over the top. This is called cover one man because there's one safety deep, but it doesn't have to be man. It could also be cover three zone, as you see in this next picture where the corners drop back deep, the safety is still over the middle of the field. And then you have linebackers over the middle of the field and you've got a linebacker to the top of the screen in the flat and a corner to the bottom of the screen. And of course, there's various types of blitzes that you can run out of these different looks as well. But that is a middle of field closed or a single high coverage shell. The next coverage shell is a middle of field open or a split safety scheme. Now this has grown in popularity, especially last year. And so why is it grown in popularity? Well, it's better against the pass because it takes that safety that was in the box in a middle of field close scheme and it puts him back so he can read the quarterback, he can play the pass. Now it comes at a negative. The negative is that it is not plus one in the box. And so if you look at this uh, diagram I've drawn here, there are seven blockers. Uh, there's only seven defenders in the box as well. And so for you to stop the run in this, one of your guys has to beat his man one-on-one -on -one and go make a tackle, or you need someone that can two gap. This is a big reason the Eagles drafted a guy like Jordan Davis, because he can control two gaps. He can con command two blockers and free someone up behind to come make a play. Now, what coverages could be run out of this? Well, you could run cover two man, where you have two safeties deep. You have 
a man assigned to each receiver. And so you would rush for the middle of the field is open. You don't have help over the middle, but you do have help deep uh, on both sides of the field. So you could run cover two man. You could also run cover two zone where the safeties are deep, just like in cover two man, their responsibilities are the same. The corners go into shallow zones and then you have linebackers dropping over the middle of the field. Uh, you could also run variants of cover four here, but we won't get into cover four because it's incredibly complex and we'll do that later. The final thing that you could do is a cover zero shell. Now this isn't technically a shell, um, but it, it's a different look. And you notice there's no safeties deep on this play. They're all creeping up to the line of scrimmage. What that means, now this doesn't end up being a cover zero look for the Eagles. They bail out of this coverage, but what it means is you can have one man responsible in yellow for each receiver, and then you can blitz everyone else indicated by red. And so that means that you have five guys in coverage and you're rushing six against five offensive linemen. Somebody is coming unblocked. And so if they block a running back, now you have a defender assigned to the running back that can either blitz, so you still have a free runner, or he can drop into coverage over the middle of the field. And so the pro is that you're gonna force them to block or you're gonna send one more person than they can block. But the negative is there's no help for anyone. Every defender has to win their matchup. If one defender loses his matchup with no help, it can be a touchdown. And so this is the ultimate boom or bust defense and you won't see it very often, but you will see it. And so the question is, is it really that easy just to look at the safety? Is there one or two in the middle of the field? Well, it's not really that easy because defenses are playing the game too. And they'll try to disguise their intention with late rotations, with trap coverages. And so a quarterback has to take his pre-snap read and he has to confirm it post-snap. And so if we go back to the middle of field close coverage that we said could be cover one man, it could be cover three zone. It could also be a rotation coverage like this where the safety rotates to the top of the screen the corner at the bottom drops back and now you're playing cover two out of a single high look. It could also be what's called a trap coverage where both of your cornerbacks drop back and the safety comes down into that hole over the middle of the field, which is the weak spot of cover three or cover two. And he can come down and he can try to take that away. And so there's different variations that you can put on it. The same with the middle of field open look. It could be cover three cloud where your safeties rotate towards the bottom of the screen and you drop a corner into that third. And so there's all sorts of adjustments the defense can make. And the quarterback has to process that in a half a second after the snap and get into the right progressions. At the end of the day, every defense has a weakness and every passing concept designed to attack a defensive weakness has a weakness of its own. And so he who wins a play is he who holds the clipboard last. The one who makes the best adjustment, the best punch to the opponent's counterpunch is the one who will win the reps. That's why the game is so incredibly difficult to understand. And it's so exciting to watch as you watch these defensive masterminds and these quarterbacks battle it out each and every play. I hope you enjoyed this video breaking down coverage shells. If you liked this content, be sure you're subscribed here to The Painted Lines. I will be putting out more Football 101 content this offseason. We'll talk about different blocking schemes. We'll dive in depth on each of these coverages I mentioned and how they work and their strengths and weaknesses. And so make sure you're subscribed here so you don't miss our next videos. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.